हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो विल लर्न अ प्रोग्राम टू प्रिंट फिबनेकी सीरीज अप टू एन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज फिबनेकी सीरीज फिबनेकी सीरीज इज अ सीरीज वेयर द नेक्स्ट टर्म इज द सम ऑफ द प्रीवियस टू टर्म्स द फर्स्ट टू टर्म्स ऑफ द फिबनेक सीरीज आर जीरो फॉलोड बाय वन and the next term is the sum of previous two term 0 plus 1 1 next term is 1 plus 1 2 next term is 1 plus 2 3 and so on fibnic series is a series where the next term is the sum of previous two terms the first two terms in fibnic series are fixed 0 and 1 and the next term is the sum of previous two terms let's see the code first of all inside the main function declare variables int n1 n2 n3 i and n i is a loop counter variable n is a variable for number of elements in the fibnic series and n1 is a first term n2 is a second term and n3 is a next term n3 is a sum of n1 and n2 and n1 is initialized with 0 n2 initialized with 1 first of all with the help of printf function display the message on to the screen enter number of elements and with the help of scanf function input the value of n after that with the help of printf function first of all display first two term as it is on to the screen percentage d percentage d first percentage d display the value of n1 and second percentage d display the value of n2 after that apply a for loop and loop start from 2 because 0 and 1 are already printed for i is equal to 2 and i is less than n and increase the value of i by 1 and inside the body of loop compute the value of n3 now n3 is sum of n1 and n2 then with the help of printf function display the value of n3 now after that assign the value of n2 to n1 and n3 to n2 suppose the value of n is 10 first of all we have printed the first two terms of the fibnic sequence before using a for loop to print the next n terms run this code now after the execution of this code first of all enter number of elements in a fibnic series number of elements are 5 first five terms is to be printed onto the screen 0 1 1 2 3 1 2 first of all value of n is 5 and print a function display value of n1 and n2 value of n1 is 0 and value of n2 is 1 Zero and one printed onto the screen. Then after that, for loop is to be executed. I is equal to two, and two is less than five. Condition is evaluated to be true. Then inside the for loop, n three is equal to n one plus n two. Now the value of n three is n one plus n two. Zero plus one one. Value of n three is one. 
then with the printer function display the value of n3 one is to be printed onto the screen again then copy the value of n2 in n1 now the value of n1 is 1 and copy the value of n3 in n2 value of n3 is 1 value 1 is copied into n2 i plus plus i become 3 3 is less than 5 condition is evaluated to be true n3 is equal to n1 plus n2 value of n1 is 1 value of n2 is also 1 1 plus 1 2 value 2 is assigned to n3 with the help of printer function display the value of n3 value of n3 is 2 2 is to be printed onto the screen then copy the value of n2 in n1 value of n2 is 1 value 1 is copied into n1 and after that copy the value of n3 in n2 value of n3 is 2 value 2 is copied into n2 i plus plus i become 4 4 is less than 5 condition is evaluated to be true n3 is equal to n1 plus n2 value of n1 is 1 and value of n2 is 2 2 plus 1 3 value 3 is assigned to n3 then with the help of printer function display the value of n3 onto the screen 3 is to be printed onto the screen then copy the value of n2 in n1 value of n2 is 2 2 is copied into n1 and value of n3 is 3 3 is copied into n2 i plus plus i become 5 5 is less than 5 condition is evaluated to be false then control transfer to the out of loop if user input the value of n10 now in this case first 10 terms in fibonic series is to be printed onto the screen 